All right, let's turn and talk about our weather now as we give you a live look out at Elliott Bay right there at the Port of Seattle. Olympic Mountains are out. Temperatures, though, Jamie, I don't know if you noticed, warmer today, right? Definitely felt a little warmer today. Erin Mayofsky is tracking what we can expect as we head into our weekend. Yeah, guys, we are looking into the windows of the Pacific Northwest world, and it looks really nice for this Friday. Suslo looking uh, spectacular at Red Square at the University of Washington, but I have noticed up at Tacoma Narrows we're seeing traffic in both directions. And the Bellingham Bay camera keeps updating, but it looks really nice. And again, I-90, we are really watching because of that fire that broke out near Cleelum. We're seeing a slight haze at Mission Ridge, but we're doing okay west of the Cascades. And here's some of the pictures uh, that are rolling through right now. We can definitely see a little bit of a plane flying through our downtown uh, area there up over Puget Sound. 78 degrees, and that's almost spot on to where we need to be. Winds are out of the northwest at 8 miles an hour. Normal for this time of year is 79, and that's the highest we go for our average seasonal highs. So we're going to be riding that upper 70s to low 80s as we get going through the next couple of days west of the Cascades. You'll see that nice sea breeze. It's really been helping our air quality, keeping us in the green levels as we get over into Puget Sound. 78 for Seattle, Tacoma, hello to you at 74 degrees, and 85 for the Rose City as you track down right along the Washington Oregon border and head south up to the North Sound and heading up over into BC. 75 for Vancouver, British Columbia, and 60. A nice 66 for Victoria. East of the Cascades, we're seeing those temperatures pushing into the 90s, like we see for Boise and Idaho. Helena, 89, 72 in Los Angeles, and we've got those triple digits going for Las Vegas. You head further into the Midwest, we'll still hang on to the 90s, and we cool some as we get further east, where they are seeing still some of the remnants of our smoke and haze. It's lightened up a bit, but we're really out west. We are just getting slammed with the fire conditions out there, and as we watch this, we'll We'll continue to see some poor air qualities as we go through, especially for the Okanagan County areas and Metau Valley. And some of this smoke may waft further south and pick up some unhealthy readings as well. We've got moderate levels near Spokane, but again, unhealthy, especially for sensitive groups. And as we widen it out, it's just not western or eastern Washington. It's eastern Oregon with the biggest fire in the country building up. We need rain and we do not see that in sight. So much of the West, 65% of it, in fact, under extreme drought uh, conditions, exceptional as we go from Spokane down further south into the lower Columbia Basin. Back in western Washington, we're at abnormally low and moderate levels there. So that's something to keep an eye on. And we don't quite see as much uh, precipitation coming our way. That's why the month of July, drier than normal for this time of year. So we're dealing with that. Even when we're dealing with that, we've got the nice sea breeze over in western Washington, and it's going to be really nice for temperatures. This is one of the most pleasant summers as far as temperature-wise goes, and we're not dealing with any smoke and haze yet. As soon as those winds shift, we could deal with that, but right now, Mother Nature treating us okay, and guys, we're just riding the low 80s. Should be a great weekend on tap for the Mariners and Sounders in town.